All right, so in this video, we're going to see some examples of converting exponential expressions to logarithm expressions. So here, if we have b squared equals 7, then how do we convert that to a logarithm expression? Well, b is the base, 2 is the exponent. Remember, exponents and logs are really the same thing. And what I mean is a logarithm is just an exponent. So we talked about that in a different video. So the base is b, the exponent is 2, this number over here is 7. So what we say is the base b log of 7 equals 2, okay, because b raised to the second power equals 7. b raised to the second power equals 7, so we say the base b log of 7 equals 2. How about here? We have 2 to the a equals 12. The base is 2. The exponent is a. This number over here is 12. So what we say is the base 2 logarithm of the number 12 equals a, because 2 to the a equals 12. Okay. Now I do want to point out that we're just converting from exponential notation to logarithm notation. We're not actually solving for any of the, the variables here. For, so b and a and x over here, we're not solving for those. We're just converting one type of notation to another. So that's good. That saves us some trouble. All right, now how about here? We have 3 to the fifth equals x. So base is 3, exponent is 5, number over here is x. So then what we say is the base 3 logarithm of x equals 5 because 3 to the fifth power equals x. Okay. Now how about up here? What's going on here? 14 to the negative 2 equals t. Well, the base is 14, the exponent is negative 2, and over here we have t. So what we say is the base 14 log of t equals negative 2. Okay, because 14 to the negative 2 equals t. And how about over here? a to the 12th equals y. The base is a, the exponent is 12. Over here we have y. So we say the base a logarithm of y equals 12 because a to the 12th equals y. Okay, so notice there's a sort of a pattern here. The base in the exponent notation is the same as the base in the logarithm notation. Okay, that's really not a coincidence. Um, so here, base is a, over here, the base is a, okay? And the same thing here, base 14, base 14, base b, base b, base 2, base 2, base 3, base 3. And similarly, over here, what do we have? x to the y equals w, so we don't have any numbers at all, just variables, but that changes nothing, okay? So we don't really have to worry about that. So we have x to the y equals w, so if we want to write that in logarithmic notation, that's going to give us, well, what's the base? The base is x, the exponent is y. And over here we have w, so base x. So we have log base x of w equals y, because x to the y equals w. Okay, so that is six examples of converting from exponential notation to logarithm notation. And in another video, we're going to see going the other way, converting from log notation to exponent notation.